I'm Shade Better and Wong. And I'm Bill Ritter. We're going to begin with George Santos, the scandalized rookie congressman, proposing now the AR-15, the semi-automatic weapon used primarily in gun massacres. It should become the national weapon of the U.S. Mr. Santos co-sponsoring this bill, and for the record, the country does not have a national gun. So is Santos simply trying to get the conservative gun vote as a fight to stay in office? We're going to see. Long Island reporter Shante Lanz interviewing Congressman Santos today. Shante? Yeah, well, Congressman George Santos says he is pro Second Amendment, he ran on gun rights, and he also won on it. Now, despite the lies, he has dug his heels in and says again he is not stepping down from Congress. I know that there's a lot of speculation that I was going to be unable to do my job. Nearly 50 days after embattled New York Congressman George Santos was sworn into office, he has made it clear that he is not stepping down. He's actually doubling down, co-sponsoring a controversial piece of legislation that would make the deadly AR-15 assault rifle the national gun of the United States. That shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. I've always been very clear. I'm very pro-Second Amendment. AR-15-style rifles have been used in some of the nation's most devastating mass shootings. Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida, Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, and a racially motivated supermarket attack in Buffalo. This is a gun manufactured in the United States, creates jobs in the United States. It's a made in America gun. And I mean, we have national everything, but why not have a national gun? It's, 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 it, it saves as much lives on a daily basis. Uh, it saves lives on a daily basis and it's not reported. Saying the guns save lives is not accurate. In fact, we counted the number of deaths from mass shootings within the last decade. We found that an AR-15 was used to kill at least 226 people in mass shootings since 2012. Governor Hochul released a statement saying this bill, which attempts to glorify the weapons that have been part of such horrific tragedies, adds unforgivable insult to injury for those families. It should never become law, and Santos should immediately remove his name from it if he has any respect for New Yorkers. I read that statement to Congressman Santos. Well, I think that the governor uh, in her right should be more focused on keeping the state safe, which she's fundamentally failed at doing. She's doubling down on bail reform instead of actually focusing on fixing bail reform. And, you know, coming from her, this is the same governor that is appalled at my co-sponsorship of this resolution. However, it's the same governor that refused to meet with me or invite me to her round table uh, session in, in Washington when she was there. So she's not really about having discussion. She's about virtue signaling and rhetoric. That to me is nothing but rhetoric. Now get this, out of the 435 House of Representatives who introduced or co-sponsored legislation, Congressman Santos ranks in the bottom 20% with 26 pieces of legislation. Okay, Shante. Wow, incredible. Well, Shante, let me ask you this. You know there's that new Siena poll that came out asking the, his district, voters in his district, whether they wanted him out. And 78% say they wanted him out of here. And that went across the lines when it came to Republicans and Democrats. Did mm -hmm. you have a chance to ask him about that? Oh, I did. And he again, is digging his heels in. He said he has apologized for that. He wants a chance to prove that he could be a good congressman to his constituents. By making the AR-15 the gun yeah. of the United Nations, United States. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great reporting, Shante. Thanks so much. Well, coming up on Iowa Issues at 6, you're going to have more in your sit-down interview, right, Shante? Yeah, and uh, including the controversy surrounding, in fact, his campaign finances. Okay. Thanks, Shante. And after Iowa News at 6, we're going to be breaking down the entire sit-down with Congressman Santos. That's on Iowa News Extra Time. It streams tonight at 6.30.